previously on Fire Emblem Three Houses. Oh, I get the sex up to do. Look at that beautiful face. Is not, does my face unsettle you? I have heard it before. No. Your freaking square-shaped head is so beautiful. I love it. Every sharp angle. Indeed. Indeed. And now back to Garrick Mach Monast. Oh, wait, it's time for a magic lesson. All the wizards in the class, step forward. We're gonna be testing your magic abilities. Oliver, shoot some fire. Nito! All right, good. Donald, lightning. I got it! Sweet. Melia, ice. I feel the ether flowing through me! Great. Himiko, wind! Whoosh! That it was just you making sounds with your mouth. Yep, it's magic! Here we go. See me after class. Oh. Hello! Sneaky B! Back with some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. When we last left off, we went through a mother tough freaking battle, which I went in thinking, oh, I think I'll probably be fine based on levels and stuff. Man, was I wrong? God damn. And it was all those freaking ambushes and freaking Gilbert. Those were really the key things that made that tough as shit. Yes, I know. I know you guys were like, like Nico, you threw the do the do into the fight. Like just chucked him in there and he died that way. And here's the thing about this game. If I had managed to actually dodge that shit, which I had an 80% chance of dodging those, uh, those freaking gambits and stuff, nobody would have said anything, right? And that's the thing. It's because it didn't just happen. It just happened to be that 20% was, yep, fuck you that day. What I mean is basically a lot of this game's skill comes down to honestly chance. Even me beating the Death Knight was still a fucking coin flip. Whether to do his move hit him. If it didn't, I would have been completely fucked. Not saying there is a strategy, of course, but but the odds were in my favor with that. So, but that doesn't mean that the low chances can't still fucking win. So, what I'm trying to say is, give me, cut me some fucking slack, okay? And in that regard, uh, last episode, Einsiety said, resetting chapter salt. Welcome to Fire Emblem Bizalite. Initiation was a success. Yes, yes, I did it, guys. Am I now officially a Fire Emblem player? If I if I finally crossed that threshold. I feel different. I feel different after that fight. <laughs> I did see a lot of you guys actually say that apparently that fight is kind of a bitch to a lot of people. Pretty much the same reason because of Gilbert and because of the ambushes. And sometimes just some fights are like that. So, uh, okay. I feel at least a little better knowing that it wasn't just me. It was just fucking up that whole fight. But, <laughs> but I'd Sidey, thank you so much for your initiation message. I appreciate be finally being part of this community. And it is for that reason, you are comment of the day. But we managed to get the Lance back. Um, and you guys did actually tell me sort of interestingly and kind of weird, like weirdly enough. So the the Lance, when I made that decision uh, to either uh, agree with Rhea or tell her to fuck off, you actually are basically deciding whether you're going to keep that Lance or not. So when I said, when I told her to fuck off, I noticed that Sylvain ends up getting the Lance and I have to, I had to move around in his inventory uh, before putting it in there. But then when I accepted it, all I got was a graphic on the screen. Didn't say you received it necessarily. And then actually, if I look at my inventory, it's not there. It's it's not any anywhere. And that's because I just didn't get it. I didn't get it from um, her in that instance. So you only get it if you say, if you tell her off. What the fuck game? Why? That is just, <sighs> shit like that kind of pisses me off a little bit. That's just something that's so, like there's no reason behind it you only would know that if you had gone through and picked the other option you know i think i'm sure so many people just go through and go okay yeah sure Rhea, and just roll with it and don't realize oh yeah if i say fuck you Rhea, for some sylvain's obviously gonna come out of the fucking side and be like hey bitch uh give me my spear and she's like okay and that's it I mean, just and even even in the process of her actually giving it to you you know it's so ambiguous because because i only get like a graphic that shows up on the screen is like is that the same as the received icon apparently not apparently it's not the same thing so apparently i've taken it and i've re i've returned it back i realized that she said well you're going to return it to the the house but it was just sort of confusing like well does that is that the same thing as what so like sylvain's part of the house so i guess that means giving it back to him i don't know that's just i'm just a little myth by that but the good news is that you can get it later I would probably maybe try to go back and get it now, but um, my save file before this is before that fight, and fuck doing that again. But apparently, you can get it later on. It's not that big a deal because the lance itself. It, I don't really see hero relics being something that I use very often. It seems more like a last last ditch effort kind of thing, especially with it being so expensive um, uh, to actually be able to repair it. 
So it's like, it's kind of used it very sparingly, right? So I, I think we'll be fine in that regard, but it just, it just kind of has me miffed a bit. But it's something I, I dislike when games really do, when something, you get a, a result from something, from a decision that you made that really has absolutely zero to do with the result, you know? I told her, screw you. Why does that result in me getting the spear? <laughs> you know, it just doesn't really make sense, but whatever, right? I guess it's like a trade-off. You told her to fuck her, go fuck herself, but you get the spear in the end. So there you go. So I got this accuracy ring. Can I, so can I actually, uh, oh, interesting. It, if I equip that, I take off the shield. Interesting. That's, hmm. So it's, it's I guess the shield is like an accessory then, basically. Um, either way, I think I'm gonna give it to the dude because uh, just to make sure his accuracy is good, but he's gonna since he's also the the big beefiest the beefiest guy and the slowest guy of the group. All right, another thing, yes, I I, I sort of realized this when I went back to edit last episode, but uh, yeah, I was thinking that the spear would go to Dimitri because he's the other main character, right? But obviously, because it's the house of Agatier's spear, it wouldn't make any sense that he would get it. So. I see. I mean, it, the reason why I thought that was because I, first off, I, I know, I know they probably said, oh, House of Gaudier's Heroes Relic. I just kind of th heard them say they still, we had a Heroes Relic of ours stolen, the Lance of something. We need to get it back. I didn't put, make the connection like, oh, Gautier, that House of Gautier, that's the one Sylvain's part of. Clearly, he's the, he's the one to get it, you know? I don't know everybody's fucking last name or what everyone's house everyone's part of right at the moment. Sylvain wasn't even in that first scene. You only you only know, hear about it later. So it's hard to put that two and two together. Also, I was sort of thinking initially that the spirit, that the weapons are kind of like, you know, Legend of Dragoon, where they kind of pick their wielder, like the sword picked me, but uh, it seems to be based mainly on family here. Meaning uh, only Sylvain would probably be able to use that lance. So I see. I, I still wouldn't be surprised if everyone, maybe with a crest, ends up getting some kind of hero's relic at some point i think it'd be kind of cool i i i am just kind of surprised that Dim that dimitri wouldn't be the the next one to get a hero's relic and that it's actually sylvain i mean technically i don't i don't have it right now but i could have gotten it if i told Brad to go suck my dick oh yes in regards to horse dismounting apparently the main purpose of it is to prevent you from getting it uh, extra damage from enemies that use skills that are effective against uh, guys mounted on horses. Uh, and also, apparently, the horse doesn't uh, ride well in certain terrain, so since it's better to get off and get on foot. I see. Apparently, the game never actually really tells you that, so... Okay, well, I, I appreciate you guys uh, give me the heads up. But anyway, so Flane has gone missing. She's probably stuck in the McDonald's playground again, and we need to find her ASAP. Because if we don't, then who knows what will happen to her? Well, whatever it is, it's gonna be. She's gonna be gone for at least a month. All right, that's that's pretty much guaranteed. I don't know. I don't know who who did this calendar, but they apparently know exactly where she is and when we're gonna find her. So, uh, but we do have the support that we got from that last fight. Um, I've got one with Hanuman, but Hanuman's too much of a little pussy bitch to want to hang out. So, Felix, uh, you finally got. That's actually, yep, that's your final one with the uh, blue lines. So, one with Ash. We'll end with Felix being an asshole. Left it in the library. Let's see. Oh, is that Felix? <laughs> Fuck you, Ash. The end. Book. Hey, hey, Felix. This is a surprise. I didn't think you had much interest in books. I'm already finished with that one. You can borrow it if you'd like. Shut up, nerd. No need. I was just curious who it belonged to. Why not read a few pages, at least, while you've got it open? I think you'd really like it. The plot is pretty different from a typical knight's tale, but it's still really good. Do you like stories about adventure and chivalry? No. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I said it, but I didn't think he'd actually say it. The fact that he did just made it that much better. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, well, have you tried reading any? You might find them really interesting. I know I do. They're all garbage, and so are you, Ash. What do you find so interesting? Well, for one thing, the knights in these stories are always gallant and brave. And they always value things like friendship, loyalty, and justice. That's the kind of knight I want to be. Justice! Ridiculous. Friendship, loyalty, justice. Only fools allow their lives to be ruled by such nonsense. Fools who get themselves killed for nothing. Only to be celebrated as heroes in books like this. Writers of these stories are worse than tyrants. They seize control of people's thoughts. That's a little much. <laughs> I was only interested in... I don't care. 
Such blind enthusiasm is dangerous. Be more moderate in your passions. <laughs> every, every freaking support with Felix just ends with Felix being a giant asshole. <laughs> Every single one. And but for some reason they still bonded. We still got that C rank. We're not going backwards. We didn't go to we didn't go to a D rank. <laughs> you know something, Felix? <laughs> you can suck my balls, Felix. You are exactly like the knight in this story. <gasps> what? Excuse me? On the surface, he's Nani? sarcastic and intimidating, but underneath, he's kind and cares for his friends. I'm not so dairy, Ash. In the end, they become heroes together and conquer all obstacles. Disgusting. Stop looking at me like that. Oh, see, right there. That's just the <laughs> you sound exactly like him. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> magic. No, right there. Yeah, you said the exact same thing he did. See, he opens the book. He's do it. He's doing and saying the exact same thing he's saying in the book. He's like, motherfucker, put that thing away. I'm going to lend you this book. Really, I insist. Just give it a read, all right? Trust me, and you can tell me what you think when you're done. I'm going to burn it. Why is this happening? And then leave its ashes under your pillow. <laughs> that was pretty great. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Why? Why? Why don't you hate me? Hate me. Uh, okay. You still got one more with the do. With Ingrid here. Ingrid. And now they were good friends, right? They're at, they're actually are part of the childhood group of friends here. That so. That's quite a sigh. What's wrong, Ingrid? Tell me, Sylvain. What am I to you? You're my friend. One of my oldest, in fact. My hot, friend, baby. Yeah. An old friend, is it? Then why must I clean up the casualties left behind by your... your skirt chasing? <laughs> Nobody asked you to do that. Heck, I thought you enjoyed it. Besides, you're real good at it. I'm excited to continue working with you. Do you mean to imply you have no intention of acting a bit more respectably? Please don't yell like that. Everybody's staring at us. There's nobody in here, Sylvain! When you were eight, you came on to my sweet, sweet granny. My granny! <gasps> what the f what the fuck, Sylvain? Wow, Sylvain likes them old and saggy. Come on. I was eight and she was gore. That was a long time ago. Oh yeah, Janice. How's she doing anyway? <laughs> Sylvain hit on Ingrid's grandmother? Wow. Oh god, not generic student. People can hear you. Please be quiet. When you were 10, we went to that harvest festival and you started making eyes at a scarecrow. <laughs> holy, holy shit, Sylvain is horny. You hit him like a ton of bricks. A scarecrow? Wait a second. That was just an accident. A tragic, tragic accident. When you were 15, you sought relentlessly, might I add, to involve yourself with Lord Gwendol's daughter. Lord Gwendol comes out. You did what? <laughs> oh, no. Who do you suppose made peace with the Furious Lord despite having nothing to do with it? Hmm? Me. Always me. Always for you. Every time. What a jerk. You know what? This conversation is over. I'm done. My point is that this has to end. Not later, but now. Fine. I promise I'll try to change. Are you happy now? But his fingers were crossed. <laughs> Sylvain was full of shit. Interesting. He didn't hit on. He didn't hit on Ingrid at all, though. He's hit on literally every other girl in our house here, except for Ingrid. That's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Nightfall already. Suppose I'd better wrap up. Good work with your training today, Ingrid. Here's something to wipe up the sweat. It's my boobs. Whoa, Mercedes. Hi. Hello. How long have you been... Um... I'm very stinky. Thank you. You're very welcome. I've been here since you started. Not long. Huh. Well, my apologies for not having noticed you. I get so caught up in training, you know. But why are you here? I can't imagine it was too terribly interesting watching me. I disagree. I just couldn't help but admire your training technique. I have to say, you are very impressive. I'm nowhere near as graceful as you. Graceful? I wouldn't say that, but thank you. If I'm to be honest, I'm the one who admires you. Goodness me, how so? You're always so put together. 
You hold yourself with such poise and have such a keen eye for fashion. I mean, even the handkerchief you handed me smells like... Lavender, is it? It's just lovely. That's just my natural odor. That perfume is a favorite of mine. I'm so glad you like it. Even the fact that you thought to put perfume on your handkerchief is delightfully foreign to me. I'd never have thought of that. I'll gladly share some with you. You're welcome to come visit my room whenever you'd like. We can have tea and chat. How does that sound? Oh, that sounds delightful. Uh, that sounds really nice. Yes. <laughs> Sipping tea and having a chat. It's unlike me, but it sounds lovely. From now on, we'll meet up whenever we have time. We can go right now if you're free. Oh, no need to trouble yourself and rearrange things for me. I got shit to do, girlfriend. It's no trouble at all. You'll never know if you're the type who enjoys chatting over tea if you never try. <laughs> Alright then. Let's go tea it up. Well, that was just a nice, delightful time. After all the other ones where everyone's just angry at each other. And if for some reason we're progressing, that one was just, yes, we're friends and we like each other. Hello, bye. Yay. Friendship is magic. Fuck on on. All right. Let's check out. Why, why is there still an exclamation point? It's it's not somebody else, is there? No. It's it's just putting it there, even though I can't actually do anything yet. All right. Let's check out the certifications here. Ah, yes, Sylvain. You can move on. You can, oh, you can ride a horse. Get on that horse, Sylvain. Yeah. Huh. Okay. No big deal, really. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. There's a there's a horse in here now. And he's pooping everywhere. Okay, we just got a few more people who are left for to get to level ten. All right, time to explore. New month and new boatload of people to talk to, including the little barefoot girl in my room. Oh my! Just one small girl who's gone astray has caused all this. Yes, I know. By the way, did you know I heard you in another game? You also played a small child. It seems to be a running theme with you. Except you were a boy in that one. But it was actually a lot like you in the way that they also went inside my head and talked to me. Isn't life screwy? Anyway, the point is, stop watching TV late at night. It keeps me up. We cannot let this stand. You must do all you can to find out where she's gone. Now ask around to see what information you can find. Come now. No time to waste. What if it, what if it ends up being that all the green hair, air, hair people in this game are all related to each other? Like, I'm related to her, she's related to Flane, Flane's related to Rhea, Rhea's related to, uh, who else has got green hair? Zedith? So, yeah. We're all just a one big green-haired family. That's why. That explains why there's so many green-haired people in this game. And then we're also related to Saros. Of course, of course. It's all connected. Oh, hey. All about crops. Oh, baby, come on. Come on. <gasps> oh, damn it. Bitch. Oh, come on. There's going to be some more books lying around here. Please help. I hope you're up for a challenge. What up? Deliver the letter. There's no dress, but there's only one person who always working his hardest, not very upfront with his true feelings, and has an adorable way about him. Dimitri? No, he's mine, bitch. <laughs> Pour my heart into this letter. I'd like you to deliver for me. To whom? Well, he'll always... Ser seriously? Oh, my God. You're, n you're not going to tell me... I want you to deliver this letter. I yeah, that's a good way to make sure that I don't get this to the wrong person. That is super vague, lady. Admiring love letter. Oh God, uh, is it, oh, is it actually telling me? Is it to do? Are you kidding me? Fucking Cyril? Ugh, your taste sucks, lady. Jesus. Sorry, but it ain't happening. He wants to fuck Lady Rhea and no one else. A moment, A moment of your, no, wait, he's gone. Uh, probably like someone who gardens as a hobby. Uh, yep, that's gotta be to do, maybe. Uh, so I was picky about armor. Who was in here was Didu. I think Didu was in here. And then maybe Felix? Catherine, can I recruit you yet? Did you hear about Flane? It's just one thing after another this year, I swear. Some of the lower ranked knights are searching for her in the town. If they find anything, I'll know. Let's see. Need something, Professor? Until that. Uh, nope. Well, 14. I'm thinking level 15, but... Okay, we got a tournament today, but all you get is a, uh... All you get is a Steel Axe Plus, which... I don't think anyone really needs. I think Dudu's already got... No, he's got... Oh, he's got an Iron Axe Plus. Well, he's a zero of these axes. Eh, might be worthwhile, then. What do they need this time? An Intermediate Axe Tournament. It's 
So that, yeah, would definitely be to do. Recommended 12 or higher. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. To do, get him. Oh, fuck you. Oh my God. 20, 20 my times two. Oh. Fuck this lady. <laughs> Boom. Walker wasn't with you. Okay. That's true. I actually get some money from this too, which is kind of nice. Keep it going, to do. Also, the fact that to do can just take everything uh, also helps a bit. Bonk. All right, I can speed it up. Bonk. Weak. Weak. All right, that was easy. Where to go, to do? Oh, I also get professor experience too. Fantastic. C plus. All right. Fortunately, we'll not be able to make use of that uh, extra point till next time. But the fact that you actually get to attack twice too, that's actually kind of nice. It might be something I should consider um, uh, putting on him, a training ax. I didn't think that extra little bonus in speed would really make that big of a difference for him, but uh, it's like it very well could. So 13 versus nine. Ooh, the hit rate for this is bad. But that's what the actual ring will hopefully help with. I can only imagine how worried Sedeth must be, but isn't mobilizing the entire order of knights a bit excessive? <laughs> Sedeth comes out, no! I was originally assigned to investigate those reports of the Death Knight in the town near Garrett Mock. When I think how many more victims that dastard might claim while we're all busy searching for flame. <sighs> I'm sorry. Yeah, we're all really that bad at our jobs here. We're all under a lot of stress right now. It's important that we find her quickly. Don't worry, La Brandon Nadesteros. I believe that this is probably going to be connected in some way. Oh. Owl feather. Yay. Give me more of them owl feathers. I can't believe Flame just disappeared. I don't like it one little bit. Let's ask Lady Ray what we should do. Oh, are you here to see someone? Alois and Shamir and all the knights are going to head into town soon. All right. Uh, wait, no, not these. Got a gift for you. Look at this amazing letter. Thanks, Professor. <laughs> this gives me a bad feeling. <laughs> he thinks to himself. <laughs> All right, I did it. Ram schoolgirl, she's gonna be like, no, you picked the wrong one, stupid. But he was the one who was glowing. Huh? Hi, Nat. There have been a lot of rumors swirling around lately about a death knight who kidnaps people from the nearby town. I know, why are you smiling? You don't think Flame was... You know, do you? Uh, we can't rule it out. I don't believe so. Whether the rumors are true or not, I just hope our flame is safe. It's all right. We're gonna find her, Net. We'll find little Gooberhead. It's the last thing that I ever do. And if not, then I'll at least get a half a meal in the process. Hubert. If Flame has been taken hostage, then we know she is alive, at least for now. There would be no point to abducting her if simple murder was the objective. That's only logical, Professor. Thanks, Hubert. Always here to incite so much hope. Uh, behind here is where the knights reside. And I guess that's a no-no, but I want to go say hi. Young Flame's disappearance is most troubling. Comment, just shut up, all right? I don't care about that. I don't care about her. All I care about is us hanging out later. Uh, agricultural survey, but har harvesting and taxation probably wants to say young noble who owns territory. That is a bit vague, but probably Ferdinand. Actually, it's absolutely Ferdinand. That's where we're standing. This might be the first time I've ever seen Setith look so worn down. If poor Flane was lured away by anyone, I personally think the clear suspect is that miscreant from Dusker. Those people are deceptive by nature. Okay, if just for that, I'm going to stab you. <laughs> Nobody dares dis to do. All right, hear me? Bitch, yeah, you're such a good teacher. Another kid at convention. How's it going, guys? Beep. What? No, I, I I will not pass a message to you to the other kitty down the way. I'm not going to put myself out there like that. Beep. I don't care how thick around the ridic she is. Besides, she's way out of your league, Mr. Kitty, all right? You've been packing on a few pounds since last time we talked. Beep. No, no, you don't get to blame it on Donut Tuesdays, all right? That ain't his fault. We're only supposed to be one donut per fucking person, and you grabbed five the other day. That's on you. Beep. Didn't even know cats could eat donuts. <gasps> Gatekeeper! Greetings, Professor. Today, 
there is quite a bit to report. Holy shit, guys. Motherfucker. Gatekeeper kid. Dude, he's got some shit to fucking throw down. Here we go. Gatekeeper hit me, baby. I've been waiting for this moment. Me too. I'm so excited to tell you. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I've been, I've been practicing. There is a masked individual who has been going into town every evening and not returning until the following morning. Oh, that was just me. I, I want the kitty invention also knowing that I've been sticking extra donuts out on Donut Tuesday. You see? Nothing gets past this guard. I doubt it has anything to do with Blaine's <laughs> disappearance, but... Well, better safe than sorry, I always say. <laughs> He's so proud of himself. Oh, another alpha there. Okay, a masked individual. That sounds very suspicious. Did he also look like a death knight? What brings you here? I'm taking a break. Wow, finally I get to actually talk to you. I haven't been able to do that in a long ass time. Can I? Oh, yes, I recruit. Busy, Professor. I'm busy as well. Are you in? Yes, you are interested only in level. I wonder if, I wonder if everyone's going to be like the same level. So I get, I get one, then I can get them all. Oh, yes, we have. Please tell me we have there. sweet, fresh new bait. Yeah, baby. This one Give is. it. I'm going to take all of it. Spend all my money on this bait. One, yep. This one, yes. This one, yes. This one, this one, this one, yes. So you guys told me apparently these seeds here, the colored seeds, um, they have a chance of dropping a stat boosting item. And you guys were nice enough to tell me what some of them were. Uh, apparently the pale blue one drops strength. And that seems uh, pretty important. So, or, or speed, one of those. Oh, wait, looking it up. Yeah, it was, it was actually speed. And speed is, I think, the best goddamn thing in this game. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant me some of those. Hi there. To think that Hi, Ingrid. Hi there. Like this. must be worried sick. I haven't much to go off of, and perhaps it's out of line for me to feel so uncomfortable. But something has been bothering me for a while about Gilbert. I feel as though I've met him somewhere before. Ah, yes. I need to talk to him. See if I can recruit so him. I'm staring intently at Annette once. Hmm. hmm. Dude, just talk to Annette. She's been literally telling everybody who he is. Uh, Crest of Ciros probably belongs to a devout believer. That would be Mercedes? Caspar. The, I don't know if she the douche or douche. Kidnapped or what. I just know that Flane's in trouble. That's it. I can't keep sitting around. I gotta go find her. I, I, I gotta go kill somebody. Oh, wait, there's a guy over there. Ah! Where do I start? Caspar, come on. How many times have I told you not to kill the staff? You lost three janitors because of you. Okay, I don't want to commit to mission assistance yet. I also, well, yeah, obviously not with you again. But also with uh, with Bernie because I, I think I'm really close with her and I think uh, if I get her if I can get her to to rank B then we'll be good. Uh, all right, are we good to recruit yet? Here to cause no. Uh oh, he's rather interested, but I'm not, am I not D plus yet? I think that's what what I needed, right? Nope, I'm D. Just a bit more, but he's almost there. He seems interested. Lindhard. Flame. No, I haven't seen her. She's been abducted. Oh, you're looking for her. Sorry, my mind was somewhere else. You're also part of the family because you have green hair. Welcome to the green haired family, Lindard. I'd say I'm excited to have you as a brother, but. I just recently learned she has a crest. Did you know that, Professor? Yeah, it's a fishy crest. If it was a particularly rare crest, I could imagine Professor Hanneman would have quite an intense interest in her. He must not like that. I mean, he's a weirdo, but I don't think he'd kidnap oh, anybody. No, I'm not accusing Professor Hanneman of abducting Flane. Kinda are. I've only Ignats. ever spoken to Flane a handful of times. She always seems so naive about the ways of the world. I'm worried about her. <laughs> she's a little bit weird. Her head's a bit high in the clouds. So high in the clouds that she's getting high off those clouds. You think she'd be easily deceived? Do you have feelings for? <laughs> what? Why would I say that? Sure, why not? What makes you say that? This is hardly the time for teasing. You know? <laughs> I've only spoken to her a little bit. Do you have feelings for her, Nat? <laughs> why the fuck would you ask me that? Do you really think Flame was kidnapped? Uh, she must have been. There must be another explanation. Do you think she ran off on her own? That doesn't put me any more at ease. Well, what do you want me to say, Mercedes? She just tripped and fell down a well. I don't know. She probably got stuck inside something. Uh, is this silver necklace yours? No. Flame was child napped. That's what you're thinking. And the villain is inside our monastery. Child napped. I feel like you and Gonzo would get along great. I must have admittance. One person has been catching my eye. Shamir is a knight not like other knights. Her movements are being reminders of... No. They remind me of warriors of Bridget. 
Before she was here, what was she getting up to? Hmm. Makes me wonder. Do you want this? Yeah, this is, or this? Yeah, this is, or this? Yeah, or this? Okay, bye. Hi, Dorothea. Hey, Professor, have you seen Manuela? I saw her running off somewhere in a terrible hurry. Her boobs just went flying out of her shirt when she did. I wonder if it has anything to do with Flane's disappearance. Do you know, Professor? You're on first name terms with Ma Pres Pres Professor Manuela? Oh, yes. Didn't you know? She was the senior diva in our opera company. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking Dorothea kill Flay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know how I'm it's sorry, connected. I've got, I've got a big fucking spider web of freaking portraits and red string connected to everything. I'm like, all right, I think I forgot this shit figured out, all right? Manuela framed Dorothea for fucking up in the opera company. And Dorothea met with the do, and to do was jealous of Dorothea and her ability to sing. And he couldn't sing. So then he talked to Flane, but then Flane got confused while he was talking to her. And then the thing in the palace, blah, blah. Professor, I saw him. A knight wielding a gigantic scythe. He was just like the rumors say. All covered in jet black armor. It was the Death Knight. I just know it. Yeah, nah, that was death metal, my friend. You don't think he has something to do with Flane's disappearance, do you? Probably. I, so I, I would love to know how this guy's just good, like going out about, about his fucking day and people aren't like, like, <laughs> like, he's right there, guys. He's not a ninja. He's walking around in heavy, big, bulky armor. Hi, Cloud. Oh, by the way, guys, so apparently uh, Hilda here is uh, sort of Claude's uh, assistant, I guess, or like, kind of like, like to do is to Dimitri and uh, Hubert is to uh, Edelgard. But unlike the other ones, you can actually recruit her. So, interesting. That's, hmm. Flane's gone missing. Where could she be? If it were an ordinary kidnapping, you'd think there'd be a demand for ransom or something by now. I don't like the sound of this. I bet Flane ran away. She couldn't stand being held back by Sedith any longer. That's right, Hilda. I can empathize. I know what it's like to have an overbearing big brother. Oh, really? Who's your brother? Is it Claude? Uh, a brooch depicting the uh, opera company logo. Oh, well, I wonder who that could possibly be. Adamatry. When I consider how Seteth must be feeling, my heart breaks. We must find Flame as soon as possible. There are no signs of her having left the monastery, but we cannot safely rule out any possibility just yet. I'm wasting precious time standing about trying to think of a solution. I'll survey the monastery and see what information I can gather. All right, man. There must be someone who has a clue as to Flane's whereabouts. We got this. Will you do me a favor? Most likely, Flane is soon. Let's gather all the information we can around the monastery. Surely someone has seen or heard something. Uh, ooh, I even get a steel lance in the process. Demetri, you've been holding out on me. Gather clues about, about Flame by talking to different people throughout the monastery. If someone seems suspicious, check the room or other place they might spend time. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Got some shit down. I've heard the monastery is full of secret passages. Put, put on your Sherlock Holmes outfit to do. We are going sleuthing. If there is no sign of Flane's departure, it is possible that she used one of those. Whatever has happened, I hope she is all right. Okay, uh, is this yours? That belongs to me. Yep. I apologize for the trouble. Not at all, man. I know my students and fuck everybody else like this guy. If Flane were taken hostage, I expect we would have received demands from the culprit by now. Perhaps this is not a kidnapping at all. Do you suppose she could have simply run away? It's possible. If that is the case. It is unlikely that we will find her anywhere in the monastery. Oh, right. I almost forgot about the Amiibo Gazebo. <laughs> Oh my god. I gotta make use of this at some point. Unfortunately, I don't have any actual Fire Emblem uh, amiibos, so I imagine anything I get is gonna just be like some random junk or something. Wow. Ingrid just about slapped the teeth out of my head. I know, I saw your support. All I did was suggest that Flane might have eloped. Quite an insensitive joke. Is that a possibility? I don't know. <laughs> I was just suggesting things, and suddenly I was seeing stars, and Ingrid was yelling at me. Exactly. See, that's right. Don't tell them what they need to hear. Tell them what they want to hear. That's what. That's how you be a good teacher, guys. Always remember, whatever gets the most affinity, and fuck everything else. Hi, Ferdinand. Beautiful, delicate maiden vanishing into thin air. It is like something out of a book. If it were a book, we would have no need to worry. 
she would be rescued presently by a dashing nobleman. Ferdinand is such a douche. Do you have any idea as to where she might be? Where she might have wandered off to? I would love to know if he ends up be somehow not being a douche through his supports. I just, I don't seem, doesn't seem possible. Perhaps she went to look for treats to the greenhouse to first some flowers. Mm, the greenhouse? I did not think of that. I will take a look around there later. Huzzah! Uh, all right. Uh, this he owns territory. This is probably right. I was looking for this. Thought so. Um, <gasps> me hungry. <laughs> I hope Flane isn't going hungry. If someone really kidnapped her, I'll never forgive them. I will eat them. Now that I think about it, I saw Aloise hanging out by the pond not too long ago. He was always getting into trouble for trying to talk to Flane. You know. Well, literally anyone who talks to Flane gets into trouble, so, you know. It's probably a crazy At least if you have thought, a penis. But I'm starting to worry. Aloy's drowned Flane. The monastery has been turned upside down. I wonder if we're still going to have the Battle of the Eagle and Lion next month. It's a yearly tradition, but with things the way they are right now, it's hard to imagine. Is that where we battle the Black Eagles or something? At any rate. I hope they find soon. <laughs> and and fuck the golden deer. <laughs> they can just sit there and watch as we beat the shit out of each other. Felix, you find a thing yet? Oh, you're looking for Flane's kidnapper. I can't say anything for sure, but I do have suspicions about Yuritsa. Oh, he totally did it then. He absolutely did it. All right, he has served no other purpose in this story. There's so far. about how he's handling his blade lately. It seems more impulsive than usual. It couldn't hurt to try speaking with him at least. It's a spell be like, what? Oh, my professor, I didn't do anything. At this hour, I think you'll find him sparring with Catherine at the training grounds. That's literally how he talks, by the way. I just saw Catherine. I was thinking. I was thinking about going to fucking Mickey Doodle. Bernie, have you seen, have you seen Flynn anywhere? She is in there. You're eating cake with her right now. Ugh. I guess I have to let you in to prove it, don't I? <gasps> I made it inside Bernie's room. <gasps> Woo! Oh my God. I've never seen what it looks like in here. It's just, oh, oh my God. She's got a Paddington bear in a fucking chair. I love it. All right. You're new. You're, congratulations, Bernadette. You are not, not, knocked you up to Wafu material. I wasn't sure at first, but this just seals her. Look at this. Look at that. I want to steal that's mine now. I'm proud of you. Open the door for me. There. See? No one's in Bernie's room but Bernie. Maybe Flame just wanted to be alone for a while. Have you considered that? I like how she calls herself Bernie. That's just even more adorable. To think of it. Where is her room anyway? That's a good question. Anyway, I doubt any of these would be yours. You have got to be so fucking close. Does any of these things, aside from owl feathers... Oh, well, the shop's open. I can get you one of your... One of your favorite things. You stay right there. I'm gonna get you some cool shit. Gotta bring up that dumb gift god again. Hi, Ash. I heard something like this happened last year too. Seriously? Neither the culprit nor the missing student were ever found last time. Some people say it was the work of evil spirits. Wow, we are really bad at uh, keeping our students safe. It could be the same culprit. I thought the same. Could there be a connection? You not got this shit, Ash. We need to work together. Are these your black leather OJ gloves, <laughs> Ash? Oh, why, yes they are, thank you. I thought so. See, told you, I know my students. All right, how my plant he's doing? Uh, got some white flower seeds, a daffodil, and baby's breath. But no freaking snap boost. All right, I'm gonna give you nothing but these this time. It's just an ordinary pod, nothing at the bottom. No dead flames. Supposed to be in class with an outdated design. Probably with someone with, who is not up on trends. Uh, I don't even remember who was standing here before. Alois, what did you do with Flay? Hey there, Professor. Did you want to talk? What? Me? Abduct Flay? You can't really believe I did that. I do. She was always yelling at you. <laughs> she was always like, what the fuck? But fuck it, Alois. Did you find anything in the pond? Well, this may sound silly, but I was too scared to even look. I couldn't bear the thought of finding her in its depths. I can't recruit you yet either. Damn it. You murdered her, did you? Is this about Flane? You find me suspicious. <laughs> You're not from Fodland. What did you do before coming to the monastery? 
Uh, yeah. I was somewhere else, fighting. Is that a problem? I understand that I don't fit in among the Knights of Seros, but that hardly links me to Flame's disappearance. I imagine this is yours. How did you know I lost this? Thank you for bringing it back to me. Oh, Hanuman! He's it's over here. He's actually ready now. He said to do the fast travel or to show up. Uh, well, yeah, over here. And down here. Professor. Professor, I, I love you. Join the club. All right, finally. Ah, Professor. Always a pleasure to see you. I wonder, might you have a moment to chat? Give me more of your blood. <laughs> Why? Uh, come now. You have no need to be on guard. I'd never cause you harm. You're far too valuable a specimen, uh, well, that is to say, too valuable a member <laughs> of the Academy staff. Cream me out a little bit there, Hanuman. Indeed. The further my crest research progresses, the closer you come to learning the truth of your heritage. Is it not so? When I learned you bore the lost crest, the very crest of flames itself, I set about learning everything I could about your past. What was the origin of your bloodline? How have the events of your life been shaped by your lineage? I became somewhat obsessed, I must admit. You investigated me. Nothing so crass as an investigation. <laughs> no, I researched. I spoke to mercenaries whom you've worked with in the past to learn about your life before the Academy. Of course, I also contacted Gerald and his mercenary friends. Your father does keep rather interesting company. I'm excited to share with you what I learned, but I do ask that you correct me if I am mistaken on any account. The story begins with Gerald serving as captain of the Knights of Seros. This might be sort of enlightening. There was a woman at the monastery with whom Gerald was quite close. At first, it seemed obvious this mystery woman was your mother. Alas, that cannot be the case. The timing is all wrong. As it was told to me, the woman in question passed away shortly before Gerald left the monastery. Yet your birth occurred sometime later, while Gerald was taking work as a mercenary. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. So she passed away, but that couldn't have been my mom. Is that the same woman though that was in the gravestone over there? That was it was that was buried on the cemetery. It, that he's Gerald's claiming to be my mom. Maybe she actually isn't. This, of course, presumes your age is accurately reported. If you were born sooner, well, the story would be quite different, would it not? Ah, uh, my father was always one for secrets. Oh, I am aware. You two were certainly enigmatic as far as mercenaries go. For example. Gerald never once spoke of his time serving as captain of the Knights. That's quite a secret to keep for all those years. In the end, your old acquaintances had little definitive to say about either of you. However, they all agreed on one thing. Your father and yourself were a strong pair. Warriors to be respected and feared. Good. You in particular. In fact, many came to know you as the Ashen Demon. Ashen Demon? Really? They say you would destroy your enemies without <laughs> a hint of emotion on your face. The mercenaries I spoke to revered you as a living legend of sorts. That's just how my face is at all times. I, I, I just don't emote. <laughs> Look, see, I'm doing it right now. I mean, not doing it right so, now. that is what I learned. And, I admit, it is barely more than I knew before. The next step in my research is to ask your blood for answers and hope that it is more forthcoming than your past acquaintances. Interesting. I'm actually glad I did that. That, that was uh, very enlightening for about myself, which I was not expecting. Hmm. Hmm. That does lead me to wonder, though. That woman died. I mean, so it's possible that my birth just isn't accurately reported. But what if Gerald's just lying to me? Maybe that's not actually the the grave of my mother. That's not actually her. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe I am related to all the green hair people here. 
It all makes sense now. I mean, Rhea clearly knew who I was, right? And I can't tell if that's like, oh, I'm her son, or, oh, I'm, I've got the reincarnated spirit of a fucking demon in me, or nemesis, or whatever. And so she recognized me for that. I'm, I'm pretty sure she was looking at me and not Gerald when she was like at the start, like, oh, what, what fate has caused you to go past across, or something, you know? I, I think at least. Still so many mysteries. So many mysteries abound. Flane is missing. We should split up and search for her. There isn't a moment to waste. We must find her before it's too late. Okay, you go do that, and I'm gonna stand here all day. Thanks, little god. I can totally see why you're the head of your house. Uh, Bandage that is clean despite being used. It probably belongs to someone who was slacking on their training. I would say Sylvain. I don't... These are each, like, classrooms for each of the students. No, this is Golden Deer, so probably Claude. Where could Flane have gone? Do you think she's really been kidnapped? I hear Tomas has been going around asking about her. But he's probably just worried like the rest of us. I keep thinking Tomas gonna end up being evil, so maybe this is it. This is where he becomes evil. Though it wasn't just Flame. He was asking about you and Captain Gerald, too. Oh, really? Was he now? Impressive. Nice work. Ooh, I got a watering can. Some Bernie also likes. Speaking of which, let me go. Let me go give her stuff. See if we can do this, Bernie. I'm gonna recruit you. I got some larva. Would you like some of that too? Look what I got. Yeah, nobody's in Bernie's room but Bernie. I know. I know. Quiet. Quiet and take take my gift. A watering can. Wow. Uh okay. Anything? Nope. Have another watering can. You want some daffodils? Apparently nobody in this game actually like love loves these flowers, so. Thank you. Thank yes! Yes, we did it, Bernie. All right, I'm gonna run away. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna fast travel away, and then we're gonna go and hang out later. Boom! Whoosh! All right, I don't wanna hang out suddenly. Good. All according to plan. That works every time for whatever reason. Great weather today. Perfect for shutting yourself inside, don't you think? That was funny. I like how uh, when I actually ran over there, I, she didn't come and approach me like everybody else does. It was just said, like, I think Bernie wants to hang out. <laughs> but she still didn't come over and actually approach me. I think I'll head outside, actually. Definitely. I'm glad you get it. With great weather like this, there will be no one inside to bother us. <laughs> oh my God. I love feeling like I'm all alone in the world. Yeah. What made you such a recluse? Oh, that. Well, I guess I can tell you, Professor. My father's obsessed with money. He's only ever seen me as bait for a rich husband. To train me to be a good wife, he'd do things like tie me to a chair. I tried hard to do as he asked. Honestly, I did. Jesus, what? But before I knew it, I just couldn't bring myself to leave my room anymore. Why not? I just had this overwhelming feeling of fear all the time. No matter how hard I tried, my father never thought I was good enough. Oh, oh my God. Oh no. Oh God, that is, that is a much sadder reason than I was expecting. I was expecting like, I'm a little shy. Not some deep seated fucking reason because of some uh, emotionally abusive father. Oh God. And that makes even that, that one scene from earlier where she was like, she's like, ah, I'm, mari uh, I'm, I'm marryable and like, or something as she was like running away. Like, it's basically calling herself worthless and not like good enough to be a, a wife to somebody. Like, oh Jesus Christ, that gets context to that now. Oh no, that's not good at all, no. After that, he was just constant scolding. He couldn't say two words to me without mentioning how useless I was. Yeah, unmarriageable, unmarriageable girl. girl. And like, uh, that's what she was saying before. Oh my God, that's horrible. My life was isolated to say the least. I wasn't allowed to play with other kids, let alone make friends. Soon, I stopped wanting that. I was happiest alone, but even that made him mad. And when he tried to drag me outside, I kicked and screamed so much, I seriously hurt myself. He's calmed down a bit in recent years. His constant torment was replaced with complete indifference. He mostly acts like I don't exist now. Fuck that guy. Ah, uh, up. I'll 
be your friend. I am your friend. I'm, a, I'm your buddy now. We could play video games or something. I jump in the monster. If you can believe it, I was basically kidnapped. My mother ordered an attendant to stuff me in a bag while I was sleeping. What? By the time I figured out what was going on, I was already here. Wow, that's a hell of a way to get a kid to go to school. <laughs> You're going to school, Billy! Get in the bag! For a while, I was sure I was going to die. But here I am. Look at me. Still breathing. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get you down talking like that about my past. Just forget everything I told you. There's no point in talking about myself anyway. Idiot. Oh, this is why everyone hates you, Bernie. Oh my god, this is so heartbreaking. What the fuck? Fuck this game. Don't worry about it. Thank you for confiding in me. What? N no. <gasps> it's not. Oh, Professor. How can you be so kind to me? I don't deserve it. Oh my god, this girl needs a fucking hug. Must protect. Fuck. I'm sorry. Please don't look at me. Must murder her father. <laughs> Seriously. Fuck her dad. Fuck him all the way to the bank and to the goddamn grave because that's where he's going. I'm out of blood now. Mr. Kitty, gather the kitty, kitty brigade. That's right. It's time for war. Set loose the cats of war. Let's bathe the city in blood. Blood of the guilty. And those who would dare harm the sweet Bernie. Bernie looks over me from inside the crate. Thanks, Daddy. Now you, Bernie. Well, you too, but <laughs> the other Bernie. All right. So that means I think we should be good to, to recruit her. Oh, my God. That was so Dude. fucking sad, though. Jesus Christ. Why? Why? Why would they do that? Why would anyone do that to you? Fucked up. There. See? Yeah, no one's in your room. I know. Stop talking and become um, part of my I, my house. Sorry, I'm trying, but you're still kind of a stranger. <gasps> no, what? <gasps> I thought I did the thing. Is that? Did I do it? Wait, right? Was it B rank? It's A rank. Fuck. Well, so not even interested. Unlike Casper, who was actually oh god, this guy up there. Uh, who was actually a little bit interested. She's like, I'm not interested at all. Well, uh, fuck then. Never mind. Uh, shit. I guess we'll have to... Maybe it's A rank. I thought I thought it was B rank. What the... What the fuck? That's what I'm thinking too, man. Oh, well. I still don't regret hanging out because if I'm a little sad now... <laughs> I'm just like, oh, God, that's so horrible. All right, how about you kill Flame, didn't you? Young Flame's disappearance is... What? Who would suspect me? You know what? I'll tell you who. A fool. That's who. Is her crest rare enough to justify kidnapping her? You've already investigated her thoroughly? Alas, Seth would never allow that. <laughs> Damn it, I tried! However, while Flane's major crest of Seth Lean is rare, there are others who possess it. It's all over Wikipedia. It's not that great. Okay. Tomas! Where's that old man? Where are you going, learn, old man? There he is. I think there's something the matter. I see. So, Flane has gone missing. I will do what I can to support the search. Mm hmm? It seems that you are a bit suspicious of me. Might I ask your reasons? You're not really that old, are you? Fine, you got it, me. I'm just, I'm just a really old-looking student, okay? Why are we asking about Flane? Why are you asking about my father? It has been two decades since I last knew Gerald, yet he looks nearly identical to my memory of him. It is only natural to be curious, don't you think? I assure you, there is nothing more to it than that. It's been nearly two decades and he looks exactly the same, like he hasn't aged or something? Huh. I mean, some people are just kind of like that. I mean, hey, look at George Clooney. He just gets hotter the older he is. Huh. Damn this gravestone not being able to like, show me the damn name. For plot reasons, this name has been scratched out. Sorry. Hey, you. Hey, you. Dear goddess, hear my prayer. I'm Marianne. Please watch over Flame. Please protect her. I'm gonna bet this uh, lost item is yours than the uh, silver necklace. Oh, no. What's this? I have no idea then. Uh, 
Um, one of Dort's fr friends is about to have a baby. Do you have any medicinal herbs that will ensure a safe delivery? Five medicinal herbs will help a horse have it. Oh, a horse. Okay, safe delivery and give them to Marianne. You might find them growing in the greenhouse. Okay. Fit for a horse. A kingdom for a horse. I've served here at Garrick Mock in some capacity or another for several decades now. Looks a lot like another guy I just talked to. But after all that time, even I can't claim to know everything about the layout. Searching the entire interior of the monastery is a more difficult task than you may think. It makes you wonder who designed such a titanic compound. There are fragments of records remaining from its original construction, but none of them name an actual architect. Bundle of inexpensive herbs from someone who knows a lot about plants. Uh, someone who enjoys baking. It's been too long. I don't remember who was standing in these spots. Oh, that's interesting. There are only two notes, not three notes like we usually get. Um, Edelgard? I usually enjoy sweets, but traditional cakes from Embar are a bit much for my taste. How could those possibly become a traditional dessert? Who cares? Traditional must be... Oh, I think we had this one before. The flavor reminds people of the old days. I got this one wrong. I said that. The sweet smell draws people in. <sighs> Maybe this one? Yeah. Uh, Casper. You know, I don't even care when people say I'm short, but I'm def definitely going to suggest this if you know of a quick way to grow. You should try eating lots of different vegetables. Get plenty of sleep might help. There's nothing you can do about it. That's your lot of life. Definitely not that. Get plenty of sleep might help. There we go. King Crystal. Rhea, what are you doing all the way over here? What? Uh -huh. Professor, have you still not found any leads regarding Flane's whereabouts? I have looked everywhere. Not even the knights on guard have seen anything of note. Uh, you're searching too. We'll find out together. Yes. Let us work together. It reassures me to have you by my side. May the goddess protect dear Flane until she returns to us. May, not, may she not die a horrible, gruesome, painful death. By the gods. Yes, by the gods. Don't go chasing demon lords. All right, take my owl feathers. Oh, I love fucking love owl feathers. God. God damn. Take my daffodils too, because nobody likes these. Yes. Huzzah, motherfucker. I'm just ready right off the bat too. Professor, it is so nice to see you here. It brings me great joy to know that you wish to visit with me again. Shut up. I'm doing this because the penguins told me to. I have this odd feeling that recently you've been trying to avoid me. I have this odd feeling that you secretly I kind of hate my guts. Ah, oh, you know me so well. That isn't so. Maybe. Yes, I thought as much. In any case, I am delighted by this opportunity to speak with you again. <laughs> my, how laughable I must seem. I imagine you must be dumbstruck by how unbecoming my behavior is for the Archbishop of all of Fodlan. Quite unbecoming. I'm sorry I made you feel that way. Oh, please do not waste your apologies on me. I am perhaps oversensitive. But thank you all the same. You are very kind. In any case, how are you feeling? Have you experienced anything strange since you began wielding the Sword of the Creator? Aside from my soul occasionally catching fire, ah, pretty good. I say that I have. What do you mean? I say that I have. Oh, I am glad. There are so many legends about that blade. I was worried that carrying it may result in some strange side effect. You mean like that other guy who who turned into a big demon lord? Has there really been nothing odd? A tightness in your chest? Strange dreams? Anything of the sort? I'm fine. Actually, I had strange dreams lately. Actually, there's a there is a young girl. Oh, I guess you bring this up to her. So you saw a young girl, and she appeared to you like <gasps> a phantom? That took- what? That brought Sothis down? What the fuck? I'm afraid I can't explain such an occurrence, but it may very well have something to do with that relic of yours. Also, why can I bomb with- can I actually do any- she's not in any of my support, Sothis. Please know that you are welcome to come to me about anything. I am here for you, always. She's mad because I told somebody about her, I guess. By the way. When I see you at work, why would not? such splendid guidance to all of your students. I want you to know that it brings me great joy, as though I myself am receiving the benefit of your kindness. Thank you. All right. Fucking did it. We're B rank. I think that's all I need to do with her for, I guess, a while. I think you guys told me, like, pretty much everybody is, like, capped at B rank or something for a long time. <laughs> Alright, good. I'm not going to talk to you anymore. But yeah, see, like, Sothis isn't actually anywhere in here, so I can't see her 
her rank or whatever. Whatever. I'm not redoing it. Did she actually tell me to keep it a secret? I don't even remember. Is that why she got mad? Probably. Who cares? It's just Sophus. <laughs> actually, real quick, I do actually want to take this time to um, train some more in faith. So I think this might be what I need to get. Yes, the final star. Budding talent. This you now excels in faith. But I mean me. Learn the white ability. There are the... Learn the ability white magic avoidance plus 20. Such power dwells within. Yes, it does. I'm a motherfucking badass. Wait, prioritize? There's a prioritize thing? What does that mean? Is that does the is it actually make a difference whether it's on the top or bottom, or is it just like to help organize it? Grants plus 20 points when using white magic. Well, I can't actually use it in this now I think about it. In my current class, so it's kind of pointless. Trying to where I'll find her, I swear. That is all I can ask. Please, lend me your aid. She would never have left the monastery of her own volition. Why is there not a trace of her to be found? <laughs> is this yours? <laughs> I'm sorry. I have no time for this! <laughs> Here, maybe an owl feather will help you, make, make you feel better. Because of Flame's disappearance, all of the knights are searching non-stop. But we haven't found a single lead. Sedith's face is getting paler by the minute. It's hard to watch. What's that? You're looking for Manuela? Well, I did pass by her earlier. She was carrying something. A mask of some sort. Uh, Doritza's mask? I'm not close to the guy, so I can't say for sure. But come to think of it, you could be right. Hmm. Oh, interesting. I still haven't found Doritza yet anyway, had I? I want to see me here right now. Oh, wait. So I'm trying to get this. Uh, someone frequently conducts research. I wonder who that could possibly be. Man, Gilby, you really fucked me good. Good that last fight. Don't be proud of yourself. Are unknown. Pray she is safe. We do not seem to have any leads at present. I am one of the suspects, am I? Well, hopefully I can lay your suspicions to rest. Do you know of my, let's call it, unique situation? You mean a net? I was once a knight in service to the Fargus royal family. If Ingrid believes she saw me before, it was likely in Ferdiad, the kingdom capital. Annette is... She is my... But no. I would appreciate it, Professor, if you would ask no more. I know who you are, dumbass! You know that... Ah, thank you for bringing oh, this. Oh, Silver Necklace was yours. Was difficult. That was surprising. Not the devout person I was expecting. Cynthia. Reflecting on it now, Flame has always seemed a rather odd person. They want to talk. She appears young, yet there's something about her that seems much older than her years suggest. And she's quite wise, but also surprisingly naive. May she live a very sheltered life. May she's actually a ghost. May she live a very sheltered yeah. life. You might be right. Whatever the case, Sedith seems to care for her more than anything. <laughs> I don't Maybe she's a ghost. <laughs> you were right, Professor. So we, if we find Manuela, we'll find the killer, right? Thanks for your help. What? Professor Manuela ran off with Professor Yuritsa's mask? I have a bad feeling about this. We must find them both at once. Professor Yuritsa will be at the training grounds or his quarters. I believe the ladder can be found on the eastern side of the Knight's Hall. What happens if I get to the end of the month and I haven't actually done this research? It's like Persona 5. They just, you just, they just die. Oh, thank you. Oh, those are, oh, the black leather gloves are yours, Dimitri, of course. Did you hear about Flame? Some of the lower ranked knights are searching for her and what? Yuritsa? Hmm. Come to think of it. I haven't seen him today. What would make you suspect him? The mask wears suspicious. I heard that he goes out every night. I see. Well, I'll let the knights know. Birthing herbs. This little herb said to aid in the safe delivery of babies. Extremely effective. Extremely effective. Strong enough for a horse. What's over red flower seeds? And some billion, a billion seeds. How to be tidy. Also, someone who has a hard time heart has a hard time cleaning. God dang it! Uh, beyond here is Jurice's room. 
No, the current month will end and the story will progress. All activities, special events will be skipped. No. Okay. So yeah, you guys told me about this. This is the, uh, to beware of this moment that if you do this, it'll skip to the end of the month and you basically miss out on all your teaching and extra shit. And uh, yeah, don't do that. So obviously we'll do. Yeah, we'll just play out the rest of the month like normal. I didn't mean to trouble you. I got you, girl. What's that? Oh, it was you for the tidy. Good. All right, so seeing as she and Raphael both also have supports with Dimitri, I feel like I probably want to get uh, uh, supports with them as well. I did also hear apparently that you can't actually see uh, anything beyond a B rank unless they're part of your house. Meaning that if I want to see uh, Marianne's uh, A rank with uh, Dimitri here, I'd, ha I'd have to actually recruit her. So, okay, well, that's good to know. Although, unfortunately, Raphael does not actually have an A rank, so I wouldn't have to worry that too much about that. So, I think I will do that with Marianne then, and then maybe I can recruit Raphael and put him as an adjutant on uh, Dimitri. Or I guess I could do the same with Marianne. I don't know. It's like, it's kind of, the, the thing is, there's a, an added benefit, right, to, have, of course, having them, recruiting them into your house. It does make it a lot easier for them to, uh, to bond with other people. But, well, that said, though, I mean, I haven't, I've gotten to B rank with Bernie and I still haven't managed to recruit her yet. Fuck, I don't know. Well, in that case, in the meantime, then I'll do like, uh, uh, let's go have a, a nice brunch with, um, let's see what, what the, the meal of the day is. Uh, Felix, Ingrid. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try inviting Marianne and Dimitri to eat together so they can get some bonding. I'll get some bonding with Marianne. And I think maybe I'll try to recruit her as well. I like this dish. It was my father's favorite. Aw. Oh, this takes me back. I used to love this when I was a child. All right, we grew stronger. All right, today's actually something special with the food. Hunting festival. Features meats from practically every region. Effects are enhanced when dining with a meat enthusiast. Oh. Apparently, Bernie's a meat enthusiast. By the way, I guess also point out a uh, pro tip here for me. So I can actually see in here uh, right off the bat uh, who someone has supports with. So if I, I actually knew about that. I knew if I hit X, I could see this. But I was I didn't realize if you, like, at first I looked in here, I was like, well, it doesn't tell me anything, though. Support with Bisley is blank, but it just says blank. Like, I don't know if that means that they can do, hang out together or not. But so, like, look, if I want to know if, Hanuman can have a, a thing with this character then it shows up if it doesn't show up that means they don't have anything with that character and then everybody else if you see it it basically if you see it that means they do I see okay I understand now that does actually make this a lot easier then so um out of all the meaty people uh we've got Gilbert here Lysithia which I don't care about um and that's it might make for an interesting thing but I, like I said I'm trying to get with uh, Hanuman here is the one I'm most interested in. So we'll do it with Gilbert. Godfrey. Get an extra boost because that meat. This is my most favorite dish of all. I love it almost as much as Crestology itself. This That's a lot. Favorite dish. Did someone tell you? I just got here too. How do you know? There we go. All right. I need to go spend some of my uh, renown on some more of the... Uh, those extra perks. What else is going on today? Oh yeah, with the with the choir festival. It effects are enhanced by lifting the nature of the event. <laughs> this one. This one. This one. <laughs> uh, okay. You, so you do have to go in order here, I, I guess. Actually, I didn't even realize that. So I can't just go straight to the end and be like, I got enough for this one. I mean, I've got two thousand, but I can't get this one yet. Um. All right. So let's go ahead and put. Oh, wait, this one's got an extra Divine Pulse I could get. Should I do that? That would be kind of nice to have. Actually, yeah, let's do that. This one? This one? You're all set. All right, good. Good. Wait, did the statue just change color? I'll see you again soon. Oh, it did. It's your bronze. I need something. It was a bronze, silver, and gold or something over time. My skills plus two. That'd be really cool. But uh, let's try to focus on some of the other ones. So we got... Heavy armor, riding, and flying. Uh, let's go with... Let's go with riding. This one? So I've got two guys who are riding horses right now. You're all set. So I think I might actually hold off on fishing. Um, for right now. Because while I can earn a shit ton of uh, professor levels or experience from that, I, uh, I heard from you guys that apparently 
when there is that bonus fish mission, right? Or that mi mission where you get a bountiful, uh, bountiful number of fish. Uh, I think I mentioned this already then, but the, the number of fish basically equates to more EXP. So I think I might just wait for that. Maybe just hold, hold on to all my bait till that moment and then just fish like crazy that day. I mean, it does mean, you know, potential EXP. I won't be able to get till a bit later, but uh, I'm, I'm sort of, since I just leveled up, it's going to be a while before I level up again. Even if I do fish, I think at most I probably get like maybe, you know, 1200 uh, experience. And that's just not going to be enough anyway. Actually, is there a way I can see how close I am to leveling up for my classroom experience? It's like, God damn it. Where do I look for that? I don't even know. I guess we might have to wait till it pops up again. All right, we get a bonus effect today. So let's go with uh, Annette and we'll go with Ash as well because uh, we should boost their motivation, I believe. Hopefully. Singing is so much fun. Am I doing all right? I hope I'm not too off. Oh, D plus. Actually, I don't think it raised my motivation at all. Progress? But it's okay. This Practice is still useful. Results. There's my, okay. 4,000, 4,300 is what I need. That didn't actually raise our motivation at all, but that's all right. Besides, it still raised both me and her to the next level. So for our faith. Okay. I think I'm done. And today. What the hell? No classes next week? L uh, Lester Alliance founding days today. There's a special dis dish in the dining hall. Partake in the festivities. No, I'm just kidding. Why wouldn't I? Does the chicken have lips? <gasps> oh my god. Takes me back. I used... This is my absolute favorite. I didn't even pick it out. Yay! Sweet! I do invite it. I guess it's just totally random. Dude, I will take a fucking chance to hang out with Dimitri some more. Any day of the week, baby. By the way. Sometimes you find edible plants among Oh, God, we're doing it again. Please do not eat the weeds. <laughs> do not eat the weeds, please. Your Highness, you haven't learned from the last time we did this, have you? I am just saying. Just saying. Professor, I am here to report the results. I am sorry to put you through. The oh, they were perfect. Fuck yeah. I didn't get to change it this week, sadly, because didn't have. Well, whoa. We did have classes, but just not, I guess, private lessons. I just couldn't change anything. Kind of sucks a little bit, but okay. Okay, I actually have to... I'm, I'm actually going back to redo this because I, I realized I need to recruit Marianne uh, for mission assistance. But I also decided to ask uh, my moderators because I was like, I, I wasn't able to recruit Bernie. What do I do? So apparently, get someone to rank B, they will uh, randomly reach out to you sometime during the month. But it's not always guaranteed to be like that week. But apparently, you can save Scummit, so I am going to do just that and see if I can't get Bernie to uh, join my party this week. So just, if she doesn't show up, I'm going to load it up, try again, Dear try again. Goodness, the sooner the better, I think. Anyway, uh, mission assistance, Marianne. So I wonder now, who will I get on the Lester Alliance feed, food day? Oh, to do an ash this time. Unfortunately, doing this, this way is going to is like gonna make it uh, different every single time. And at least I gave Ash's uh, extra motivation. Yeah. Actually, they're probably not going to guarantee to get perfect this time, are they? Nope, they got good that time. It's all right, though, because she didn't actually approach me this time either. Oh, my God. Finally. Oh, okay. That was... That took a lot of safe scumming. <laughs> that was clearly a chance of it happening. Either I was incredibly unlucky or they were very low of it happening uh, each week. But God damn, it took fucking a long time. That was... That was I actually counted. That was my 11th try. <laughs> and it, it made me realize how low... It, how long it takes for the game to, to load up initially. So it sounded like Bernard wants to join. Yes. Please. Oh, um. No way she wanted. She runs out the door. Fuck. <laughs> Professor, my class is, um, would you, um, can I join your class? No, get out of here. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. This will be so much better. I don't know why, but I'm just so much more comfortable when you're around. Finally! Thank baby Jesus! Okay. Now let's get to the end of the week. Please land with the perfect guys. 
Make us a perfect week. Is true enough. Damn it, fuck. Whatever. I, I am not rolling that again. It hopes of getting a perfect and also Hope getting Bernie. For something. And uh, oh god, Bernie, you level up. You just got here too. Wow. Already showing you got fucking skills to pay the bills, girl. Damn, you're already C plus in archery. Oh, awesome. Good, we need another archer here. Holy shit. That took a long goddamn demon talk. Fuck. Uh oh hey! Mercedes Cyril! Okay, the, this thing did pay off with that at least. The this I think it must they must have been the two that had uh that had lunch at the, the festival. I actually stopped I stopped paying I'm sorry, I stopped paying attention after like the sixth time of doing this. Sweet! Which is good because that's like I think is it the only person in no Ash as well. Wake up, Cyril, or I will smother you with my boobies. What's this? Well, if it isn't Cyril, how did he manage to fall asleep here? Is he just standing there? The warmth must have put him right down. He looks so cute when he's napping. I'll just keep reading. No need to disturb him. He's just he's just standing there. He, he sleeps while standing up. Good morning, Cyril. Did you sleep well? He's gonna, he's gonna have her head her head right in her lap. <gasps> what? Where? Mer uh. It's Mercedes. I hope you'll commit my name to memory. Oh, sorry. I know it, but it's hard to say. It's just it's Mercedes Benz, all right? Just just remember that. You're from Almira, aren't you? I hope you haven't been uncomfortable here at the academy. Everybody else here is saying it wrong. Ah, huh, it's great. I eat every day. <laughs> I like eating. Were you not eating before you came here? Every couple days, maybe. It was rough. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Are you hungry? Um... You should eat up, to make up for all the meals you missed in the past. <sighs> okay. Thank you, Mer... Memel... Mar... <laughs> for saying I thought he was about to say, thank you, Mom. <laughs> Just call me Mercy. That's what my friends call me. Mercy. Mercy? Hey! Thanks, Mercy. Well, I had a good sleep, but there's work to do now. See ya. It doesn't seem like he has very many friends here. It's troubling, but I probably shouldn't cry. When I hear his first friend. <laughs> I'm not friends with him. I know we got C rank, but fuck that. Zero gave me nothing but, nothing, nothing but grief last battle. He's on my shit list right now. Just realize how low his HP. Oh, that's that's because he doesn't have the plus five that everybody else has. All right, let's have a look at the Bernie. She is 17. Archer. Uh, pretty good strength, I think. Uh, good speed too. She's also got some lance skills as well. Uh, close encounter. Uh, ooh, increased bow range. Ooh. Oh, that's because she's yeah, she's a, she's actually part of the archer class, which. Uh, haven't because I haven't gotten Ash to level ten yet. He's uh, not gotten there yet. That's cool. Persecute. Well, yeah. What persecution complex grants attack plus five when a unit is not at full health? Wow. <laughs> wow. That's uh. It's an interesting buff. It's like someone needs to smack her one time before we get started in the fight. Get her just down one health. Let's see. She her innate skill is or hidden skill is with riding. There's a lot of things she dislikes though. She doesn't like swords, axes. Fists or ha heavy armor. Let's see, born the eldest daughter of Count Varley's son, becomes enrolled at Officers Academy at Garrick Mock. Interests in knitting and embroidery, uh, writing and illustrating novels. Likes reading, drawing, music, embroidery. Unusual creatures, stuffed animals, solitude. Solitude. Dislikes speaking to people, imposing figures, overbearing fathers. Oh God. Paralogs. Parallel battles branch away from the main storyline and focus on the side stories of specific units. By completing these battles, you gain unique items and battalions that, that pertain to these side stories. Ooh, that's cool. Some paralog features units from outside of your house. You can control these units while in these battles, but they will not learn experience or acquire items. Oh, interesting. Okay. Ah, paralog war for the week. Oh, hey, my uh, activity points are actually high enough where I can actually do two uh, uh, auxiliary battles now. That's awesome. Yes. Uh, war for the week to do receives a concerning missive about his people who continue to bear the burden of oppression based on the blame for the tragedy of Discur. Available till wow. Available till fucking March? <laughs> so, it's gonna be available for a good while. Oh, I just realized, uh, uh Felix is, uh, now 
past level 10 so he can get uh, his new thing. Which, because I'm liking his fucking fisticuffs. He's, oh my god, he's taking his clothes off and becoming a brawler. Great for up and close in personal encounters. This, fight, fight, this class fights using gauntlets. Class abilities. Unarmed combat. Allows you to fight without a weapon. Oh, interesting. Maybe that increases your speed even further then. Does uh, give him a boost to his speed. Or his strength a little bit. Does give him tube speed though. That's pretty cool. And improve and improves his uh, his movement. All right, go for it, Felix. Easy. Oh, interesting. We got rare enemies approaching. I what that means. I think I'm gonna let's do that first, since that's a special thing for today. And then I mean, well, I I can do two, so I mean, I should be able to do that. And then uh, I guess do maybe uh, the do's. Maybe better to do his first. I don't know if I want to. Yeah, let's give it a try. Causing mystical creatures to spring to life. Oh, interesting. So I might actually run to like a, a beast or something. But man, get some rare shit. Uh, let's have a look. I see only men here. Oh, God, no. There's something there. King of beasts. Cracked Cresto. What the fuck is this asshole doing here? You working with these guys? Okay, but I only have a maximum of 10 people, unfortunately. So that means uh, someone's got to go, and that's going to be Cyril. Hey, what's her thing do? Animal friend. Unit recovers up to 20% of max HP at the start of each turn when adjacent to a cavalry or flying ally. Uh, oh, okay. That's just, that's a bit, that's pretty situational, though. <laughs> yeah, look at Bernie in a little funny archer outfit. All right, let's give it a go. All right, dude, go in. Do your thing. Oh, no, they're all fighting it, too. Those guys are actually attacking the monster. No, they are not working together. Interesting. Why do these guys have check marks next to them? Oh, Lord. Oh, what a bitch. Oh. How's it going, Crocky, man? I missed you. Don't know why I'm going to call the accent, but fuck you. Oh, oh man. You fucked up. Yeah. We're like, oh god, what the fuck? We're being attacked by this thing and this other monster over here. Hey, I resent that, asshole. Hey, they can beat him for me. I'm not feeling very good about their chances, though. Oh, be hungry. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. He's getting angry. You all about to die today? Even these guys aren't paying any attention. Here we are. The fight continues. Finally, level 10, Ash. Okay, on, and you can just murder the fuck out of this guy while you're at it. I had no choice. Level, level 10. Feeling stronger. Holy crap, that, those boosts. Oh, no. <laughs> Bernie's like, oh, God. Bernie, go get yourself some experience. Don't do anything. Oh my God, somebody stop him, please. Oh God, oh God, I'm so screwed. Ow, that hurt a bit. Oh, double damage for to do. That's just how fat these guys are. Now they're doing damage to it. They're doing something to it. Don't think so, bye-bye. Damn, did you build up that fucking experience? Not good enough. Damn it, to do. All right, well, time to die. Arrgh. You can do it. So I put the battalion that can uh, give people Wait. plus movements. Bernie here. Now. And grid, level up. So we'll bring everybody to level 10. Over already? Booyah, baby. Holy my shit. Oh my god, she pulled a motherfucking Sylvain level up. Where everything but one, but one stat. Jesus Christ. What a fucking beast. Love it. Yoink. 
that's how it goes. Nice. Starting... <laughs> Boom. Why am I even here? Why am I even here? Whoa. You can feel the difference. Yeah, seriously. I would hope so. God, the guy's gonna die of poison. Hope the monster can't level up by killing these guys. No damage! Nice, dude! It's time. Boom. Boom. Yes, all shields shattered. Umbral steel. Nice. Boom. Going ape shit crazy. Okay. Oh, I just hope Sylvain doesn't get killed. Oh, me head hurts so bad. Oh, no, he totally stunned him. He didn't actually get to get a turn off because of that. Didn't even realize. All right, well, I'm about to fuck this guy the hell up. About to screw your day up, man. Bonk. Bonk. Ah. 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 Blah. Hey, level 15. All right. Another step forward. Holy shit. That's what I'm talking about. All right, kill him, Sylvain. Get a bunch of experience. Ah. Atta boy. I like Alright, that's the big monster dead. Now for these guys. Smoke this guy. Bonk. I must stay focused. Level 14. I will get stronger yet. Fuck yeah. Alright, kill Felix. You're weak. You're weak. I have it. Nice. And we win. Next time, bring your friend. Oh, almost level 15. Fuck me. All right, though. We did it. Fucking did it. MVP was Ash. All right. Woo. Good fight, guys. Good fight. Oh, I love it. I can do another one. Oh, and the free day. No, I can't just exit out. And, damn it. So I'm going to exit out here and get like the fucking extra, like switch classes and stuff. No, or train for the new classes. All right, let's do this one with, uh, with, for, with to do then. Something happened. Oh, it's you, Professor. Since you are here, I have a favor to ask. Your Highness, you've returned. Sorry to keep you waiting, to do. I'm glad you're here as well, Professor. I want you both to hear this. Dudu is already aware, but you should know there's been an uprising in the Dusker region, in the western part of the kingdom. A present to why? I am from Dusker. It lies just beyond the mountains on the northwestern border of Fargus. You are, of course, aware of what transpired there. The land was burned to ashes by the army of Fargus. All of the people were slaughtered. This was our punishment for the crime of regicide. The barren expanse that was once Dusker is now controlled by a kingdom noble. But Dusker survivors, such as myself, still exist outside the region. This uprising is most likely the work of such survivors, seeking to reclaim their homeland. A request for aid was sent from Viscount Clayman to the kingdom capital and the church. He is the one who rules over that region at present. For now, the lords surrounding the Dusker region have sent their armies to help suppress the uprising. However... Are they short on troops? They have sufficient troops, and strong ones at that. My worry is that there will be more unwarranted death. There have always been many in the Kingdom's army who believe the people of Dusker are foes and hate them because of it. You would think they'd refrain from squashing the rebels out of political expediency. But I doubt that will be the case. If the Kingdom's army and the rebel forces of Dusker collide, there is no doubt that the rebel forces will be annihilated. 
I'm afraid that's the best case scenario. It could also turn into complete and bloody chaos for both sides. <sighs> Indeed. Which brings me to my news. I have just now received the permission I requested from the church. Permission for what? I asked the church to deploy our class to help handle the situation. Get on you, Dim Dimitri. So we may go? Not so fast. We still have a responsibility as students of the academy, after all. The only one who can truly make the decision as to whether or not we go is our professor. So, what do you say? Well, I picked the option already, so what do you think? Oh, interesting. Very well. Let <laughs> Begin pro parallel mission. Let me think about it. Let's do this. You have my most sincere gratitude. And what if I get some extra well. affinity with... But we must move fast. ...to do with this one, too? We'll go and alert the others. All right. Fucking do it. That's cool. I like that they're doing this. This is actually really neat. Like a little side mission, side quests that actually uh, go into deeper detail about the characters. And you get voice acting and everything. That's fantastic. Um, okay. I see a green guy next to me, was it? It's a Dusker soldier. Kingdom soldier. No. I... So I'm actually... Am I, am I actually killing the Dusker soldiers then? I thought I'd be trying to protect them, but I, or no, they're, but they're the, they're the guys uprising in the Dusker, the, yeah, they're the ones, they're part of the uprising, so they're the ones I need to get rid of. I'm actually slightly separate from them, because I'm like, I'm like on a little mountainside above them. Well, actually, I actually have fewer enemy, uh, fewer uh, people I can bring into this fight. Yeah, I can't actually bring many people in. I'm going to bring uh, Ingrid in here, because instead of Sylvain, just because... She's still level 10. Everyone else is uh, level 11. And instead of Ash, I'm going to bring Bernie in. Just to, again, more bonding. I want to keep Felix in because he's only one EXP away from getting to level 15. Oh, damn it. I can't move to do, really? Want to do go to the front. All right. Let's so, uh, give it a go. Busily Dimitri or to do fall in battle. Ally unit defeats the enemy commander or 15 turns pass. Ooh, okay. Ally units defeat the enemy commander. Oh, if they do it and I don't, basically. I'm supposed to be the one to do it. The kingdom's vanguard has already arrived. Just as we'd feared, they far outclassed the Dusker forces. We cannot stand by and allow another massacre. But we cannot obstruct the Fargus army either. Our best hope is to force the troops of Dusker to withdraw before the kingdom soldiers get to them. Ah. The main body of the kingdom's army is bound to arrive soon. Until then, let's aim to quell this uprising ourselves. Once the main force arrives, we will be out of options. We must move fast. I got you. Okay, so who's the commander? It seems the church and the kingdom troops are not working together. My head hurts just thinking about it, but we may be able to use that. First, let's push Dusker to retreat. The kingdom might then also withdraw without a fight. Let us be quick about it. If you defeat the Dusker army before the Kingdom army does, they will leave the battlefield without any casualties. You can earn rewards based on how many you drive off. I say, so no King I, we don't, I don't want any of the Kingdom army guys to, to die. Cool. All right. That's a... So, let's see. Like actually, on a healing towel, he is. So, their commander is... Where exactly? Oh, this guy right here. Dusker general. Yeah, I'm thinking that must be it. I give my all for our goal. You will die here. Shut up. Is that all? Good job, Dimitri. Go now, if you value your life. But aren't you with Fargus? Oh. In any case. Thank you. Thank you for beating me up. I see. I'm not actually killing them. I'm just sending them away. Bonk. Bonk. Another win. And another one. All right, level 15. Damn. All right, time for me to go the fuck in. Let the lesson begin. Let the lesson begin, What's bitch. That? You're not going to kill us? Safely away. Get out of here. Bye. I like this music. It's really good. My thanks. Our grudge will not be settled until all of you are dead and buried. 
Oh Lord. Too slow. Between the east and the west, and it they are moving out. Time is of the essence now. Oh! I won't allow it. If only you bastards weren't here. I'll have your life for atonement, Kingslayer. Dave, why would you start this far away from these guys? What is it you think we have done? Filthy Dusker demons. Trying to move as quickly as possible. So is it better for me to just make a beeline to the... God, they're way the fuck down here. Just kill all these guys up here so they don't kill anymore. Okay, I see. So I'm like, look, I'm like, how do I get to this side over here? It's really only like two ways. It's basically a giant wall along over here that I don't think I can get past. So what I can do, though, is I can go all the way down to the bottom here and then go across these bushes to get to the uh, Dusker General. Yeah, All right, Dimitri, go further in. This game is really useful. Getting everybody extra moves, especially for moments like this where I gotta go and I gotta go fast. Thanks. Seems I prevailed. Leveled up. Have I improved some? These guys actually really aren't very strong. And I don't really have to worry too much about them actually doing damage to me. Seems like. Level 15, Dimitri, fuck yeah. I will get stronger. Me and my horse are so diesel now. That worked out well. Ooh, sword breaker and dexterity plus four. Nice. Was that B for, for Lance? Revenge for my brothers. Even at the cost of death. Not content with slaying his majesty, you thought to revolt? Pathetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should I have held back? Seems this area's done already. All right, men, fall back. Oh, good, yes. It's funny though, because like, I have actually no way of getting to this side, at least not easily, without looping from on this side. At least, I think. It looks like there's a mountain that just prevents me from crossing. Ow, careful, Bernie. <gasps> Boom. Stop taking pot shots at me. Too slow. Too slow. Too shit. Too dead. I'm actually gonna. You know what? I am. My guy is gonna come all the way over here. I'm gonna try to go loop around this side. Get him, Bernie. Boom. Got him. Nice one. Nice one. I was like, oh, I got him. You sure did, Bernie. You sure did. Clear path for Dimitri. He's going all in, baby. Change for the better. Holy shit, Annette. Nice. Oh, yes. Authority level up. Battalion renewal. <gasps> what the fuck? What's that? Sounds cool. I don't know if it's going to be counting how many actually of the Dusk Koreans have been killed since I don't think any of my quote unquote kills are actually killing them. Or if it's just going to be counting the Kingdom soldiers' deaths. I'm coming, guys. Dimitri is just making a beeline. No! Boom. Get him to me, drink. Keep going. Ride that horse to victory. Uh. Fuck, somebody died. Damn it. I think it is just our allies. It's not really about them. But fuck me. Still. One of those dickheads still died. Actually, wait a minute. If I go back a bit, I, mean, I can heal. Can I heal him with uh, Mercedes? Yes, you can. Thanks. Uh, hold on. Coming. Almost there. 
Unfortunately, none of these guys seem to have any battalions. Thank God. Oh, wait, this guy does. Oh God, big guy. Mess with Felix. Don't take too many hits, please. Fuck. Okay, retreat for now. Felix did good. Let it heal you. And Dimitri, please hit this guy. a windfall. Who knew we'd meet our sworn enemy here? Sworn enemy? Well, I cannot disagree. We will slay you and topple Fargus. Oh. That way, for the first time in ages, Dusker can be reborn. Interesting. Dimitri actually has some unique dialogue here. Don't let them retreat. Yes. Oh, 16, Dimitri. Goddamn. I must keep aiming higher. Mercedes leveled up. Yes. You can rely on me. Fuck yeah, Mercedes. Miss and dead. Ha! Bitch. The war is won. Is this how our dream ends? I will check the status of the kingdom's troops. To do, I leave the Dusker army to you. Yes, your highness. Please be careful. All right, got rid of the Dusker army. We did it. Large bullion. All right, I think we did. I think we did good. That's good as we could hope to get. Unless it counts uh, the Kingdom soldiers killing the Dusker soldiers. Yeah, Dimitri was definitely the motherfucking MVP. Successfully completed the paralogue and earned a battalion. Battalion Dusker heavy soldiers at your barracks. Ooh, sweet. Why save us? I will not abide the needless death of my own people. You must know that as long as there is breath in me, I will fight. Then fight and be defeated. But so long as you pose no threat to his highness, I will not end your life. And well, this at least does answer my question. I was wondering, it's like, is to, is, uh, to do the only discurian left? Uh, no, clearly not. <laughs> clearly they are still uh, alive and kicking. Idealistic fool. At least a, at least a decent number of them. We will not relent. Not until we've taken back the homeland you monsters stole from us. I share the same sentiment. You, who sold his soul to Fargus. His Highness has promised the people of Dusker a home. His will be a kingdom that is proud to harbor the blood of both Fargus and Dusker. That's impossible. Don't be naive. Believe what you will. But Fargus will change under his reign. That is my firm belief. The Kingdom Army has retreated to the fortress. There should be no further danger. Prince of Fargus! You monster! Can you still run? Then I suggest you do so now. Your people are waiting for you on the other side. Remain hidden from the Kingdom Army. May our paths cross again. I certainly hope not. But remember this one thing. The people of Dusker never forget their grudges. Nor do they fail to honor favors. Ooh. Hey! Thank you, your highness, for accommodating my selfish request. Think nothing of it. This was something I wished for as well. If you must give thanks, direct it at the church for allowing us to join the battle. And to our professor for leading the charge. Yeah, I'm here too. It's about time we headed back. The professor and the others are waiting. I am right behind you. Aw, oh, dude, that was fucking awesome. That was great. That was a great little quest. My thank you well, so dude, much. I'm definitely doing as many of those as humanly possible. And I got a cool battalion out of it. So much. Sick. Looks like somebody's birthday is today. We'll have to wait till after lesson. <laughs> But all right, guys, uh, this seems like a good place to end things here for now. All right, we got quite a bit done this episode. Holy shit. Man, this game is fucking addictive. It's hard to stop playing once you get going. But I feel like we're on a good path here. I can't wait to honestly get a, uh, all the people who got hit level 15 now to their next advanced uh, classes. Ooh. At least I, I think. I, I'm assuming that's a level 15 or maybe it's a level 20. At the very least, I should hopefully be able to maybe recruit uh, some of the Knights of Saros. Unless that also is level 20 re re prerequisite. Uh, but anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode as much as I did. Seriously, I thought this was a, this was a really good one, man. I loved that paralogue battle. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe. If you're not ready, become Piggy Penguin. For the SLP, where the days are always sunny 
and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.